Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. I think we're due for a random run. Fuck, man. Eve? Really? You're gonna give me an Eve? Ah, well, I guess we've done some Judas runs lately. We've had some Isaac runs, of course. Why don't we give Eve a chance? That's what John Lennon said, right? Give Eve a chance? Uh, my best friend, huh? Weirdly enough, you know, it hasn't been a, a coup for my best friend, but my best friend has kind of been climbing the ranks as, as far as my, like, item power rankings would go. It's not good, but it's not awful in a very specific circumstance, and our very specific circumstance in this case is, you know, being Eve, basically, not having a spacebar item. Uh, one of the few characters that starts without a spacebar item, uh, I guess her and Kane. My best friend does beat Blue Baby's item as well. Does not beat Yumheart though, which is also pretty not so great. But anyway, um, my best friend, it'll help out a little bit until we choose to get rid of it, which will be at our earliest uh, opportunity to pick up something that's slightly better than it. Uh, which is not going to be difficult. The average spacebar item is probably slightly better than my best friend. But in the meantime, let's learn to live with it. Let's learn to enjoy it. It could help us out. Meat is a, a sweet upgrade for us to get on the very first floor as Eve. That's going to help us out a great deal. Probably, yeah, I was going to say basically at the end of this floor. Might as well take a look inside the curse room. You never know what you're going to get. You also never know if you don't glow, which is an important thing that a lot of people seem to forget on a regular basis. But I try to keep people reminded, uh, you know, so my uncle Steve Harwell knows that uh, we're all copacetic and good to go, you know? First floor, not so bad. Meat is good. Not trying to rile any feathers. Vegetarians, vegans, and animal rights activists. You know, I, I did used to be a vegetarian for a while. I like to throw that out there, not to be like, oh, look at me, I'm so fucking fancy and, you know, I care about the animal rights and all that, but just like, you know, there's, the vegetarians, vegans can sometimes kind of be punching bags on the internet, and I want you to know that, hey, if you're making fun of vegetarians, you're making fun of a slightly younger version of myself, and does that make you feel good? I like to think of myself as kind of a nice guy. You're retroactively making me feel bad every time you, uh, you know, say something like, hey, if you, uh, every time you eat a salad, I eat two sandwiches, and he would like, yeah, just be, be nice, let everybody live their own life in the, in the world today, you know, we got enough problems as is. Careful, careful, okay. Red heart damage sucks, uh, but we'll be able to get back to full health. If only I'd, I'd gotten that uh, tinted rock before I... Oh, well, that's terrible. If only I'd gotten that tinted rock before I actually came uh, into contact with that bullet, we would be in a different position. Could still get a deal with the devil, it's just kind of unlikely. But if nothing else, at least our uh, item room on this floor contains some HP. So, you know, we're, we're stacking up one of the resources that Eve typically doesn't roll with, uh, or doesn't have to start with. Which is great. Who are we going to be fighting? It's Pin. I have no idea how to use uh, my best friend against Pin. Uh, great damage there. Um, truth be told, we probably don't need to use my best friend against Pin because Pin is so easy anyway. Um, but it would have helped out. It probably would have been a one shot instead of having to actually go through the the trouble here. But it's possible that we could get uh, Pin to just kill him or herself uh, just by virtue of a, a green bomb. If I could actually get one of those to pop up. I hold out pretty much zero percentage chance for a deal with the devil here because I took red heart damage on this floor and got hit by this boss, which I'm very much not proud of considering who we're fighting, but shit happens. Maybe we can at least snag a good item here and I won't feel so bad about that. Yeah. Either the crate's okay. It's good enough in my opinion. Uh, what is this? Two of diamonds. Well, uh, we could look for the secret room on this floor, but it's kind of a tricky one. What do you got for me? Bombs are key? So that changed nothing. Now that we have two of diamonds... Well, I mean, there's only, like, two locations for the secret room to be, right? It, it could either be here, or it could be just in the room below that. But there could be money in that chest as well, which is... We've already been to the cursed room, so we know it can't be adjacent there. Yeah, let's try this one. That's unfortunate. I am going to use one key to open up this, um... This chest right here. I... Oh, I could have easily zelded myself there. Uh, I like it. We got some tinted rocks. We're going to get some bombs back. I can... We got some money. I can use this bomb to open the chest. And it's possible if we just get slightly more money, I can actually uh, have enough money to open the shop and possibly buy something worthwhile. Maybe, if I'm wishful thinking, a blue candle to replace my best friend, which, uh, you know, as time goes on, is only going to get worse and worse. Might as well try to, you know, use everything that we possibly can to our advantage on this floor. There might not be a secret room on this floor. That happens from time to time, too. Devil card? Well, we'll see. We will see. 
in the meantime, what do we got? Ah, enough money to make the uh, two of diamonds worthwhile. The stars card we'll probably take to the next floor instead of the devil card, just because we won't have any keys. And I am going to pop this right away, even if there's nothing good. And there really isn't anything good. But since we're on the seller part two, and it's pretty early, I'm going to buy the steam sale. I'm also going to buy another key. And uh, we'll, we'll say fuck the devil card, and we'll take the stars card with us. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. Could be better, could be worse. But generally speaking, I'm pretty pleased with the way this has gone. Getting the steam sale so early is really the benefit there. Um, Mr. Mega's great. Uh, steam sale's not very good, but if you have the chance and you have the disposable income to burn, I don't think it's a terrible pickup, especially if you don't have a reroll or the means to reroll at all, basically. So, I'm okay with this. Now, we have a lot of spirit hearts backing us up. So my hope is that we can use uh, those spirit hearts as a little bit of leverage to not take red heart damage and thus get a better chance of getting a deal with the devil. And of course, if we just get up to seven cents, I can, uh, you know, definitely justify using a key to go to the shop. I've already taken out one of the items that I typically don't like that much, so uh, I'm pretty optimistic that we'd end up getting some half-decent items inside of there that I could actually use to my advantage. Now, I could use my best friend to... Um, avoid wasting bombs, and I think that's actually the right play, because I, I'm having a hard-ass time beating bosses with my best friend, as is. Uh, like, I, I'm not really able to, uh, oh, are you fucking kidding me here, by the way? Please? Can we, is this just gonna go on forever? Maybe if I, like, knock you out, and then, yeah, there we go, rotate around this way. Finally. Not the easiest, but yes, anyway, long story short, I think I am going to use my best friend in situations like this to blow up um, and gain access to these uh, chests, which didn't gain me much in that uh, fight there, but that's okay. I'm going to throw some Mr. Mega Bombs in here as well. That's the thing, is that, you know, now that we have Mr. Mega Bombs, our uh, consumable bombs are actually pretty valuable. And Mr., um, or not Mr. Mega, but my best friend is something that I'm going to be trying to get rid of as soon as possible, so... Uh, there's no real benefit towards saving its active effect. I would much rather save our consumables active effects. Please die. Any second now. Um, maybe a couple more hits and that'll be that. Okay, good. I right, poison bomb. So we're stacking up, uh, bomb-related synergies here, which is gonna be awesome. We now have 14 bombs, which should make the secret room super likely here. It makes my life much easier when it comes to facing some, uh, difficult bosses. Let's see what we got. Death card. Probably just use that as soon as we run into a room that's a little bit problematic. Uh, we could find second secret room here, so let's get the key. And we did. And it's Mom's Pearl, which is maybe, you know, Ace of Spades is pretty good. The cards that it can give us is pretty good. Mom's Pearl gives us Spirit Hearts instead. I'm gonna stick with the Ace of Spades. I, I think I've, uh, I'm, I'm content with that. Let's see what our shop contains. Book of Revelations. Obviously a lot better than my best friend, so we will be looking to get some money back. Um, uh, in order to use it for that, if we can. What do we have here? Uh, this is probably not worth the use of a death card. Maybe we end up fighting Fistula in our next room or something like that, and then I would much rather have, um... Ooh! Oh! Yeah, okay, that was a weird one. Our Tinted Rock exploded with a Tarot card and two Troll Bombs. That's not that likely. A little bit unfortunate. Anyway, Strength card. Uh, also fairly valuable for a fight against the boss, but maybe the strength card is something we can carry with us, and we'll use the death card instead. What do we have? Well, it's actually, I think it's okay to use a death card here as well. I have no idea if my best friend is actually going to work for us. Oh, it ate it! I didn't think that would happen. And we put another poison bomb down with Mr. Mega, and now we can probably just use our, um, our tears to finish the job here. Come on, don't take damage. We got a spirit heart for our trouble. Feels good. Uh, it's a bit of a shitty situation, because I know I'm going to get Little Chad, but also a deal with the devil, so that makes it all feel better. Those are two pretty awful deal with the devil items. I, I shouldn't say that. Guppy's Tale is pretty good. I don't want to offend anybody's feelings there on that matter. Uh, but I think I'm just going to leave and save our HP instead. You may disagree with that. That's your right. But, uh, I'm, I'm a little displeased with the performance there. Book of Revelations, though, I'm excited to get. More than enough bombs to uh, gain access to a secret room here. Three cents. Not lovely, but, you know, three cents is basically half of a shop item by virtue of the fact that we have the uh, steam sale. So, I'm not feeling too salty about that. Let's, uh, let's move along here. 
and we'll travel upwards. Again, I still think Ace of Spades is our best choice here. You may disagree, but uh, but I don't. When it comes to that or Mom's Pearl. Mom's Pearl, I understand the effects of. The Spirit Art's very nice. But, uh, I don't know, Ace of Spades for the chance to give us Joker cards, you know, two of Spades cards, two of Clubs cards. Those are the big ones right now, obviously. Uh, those, those mean a lot to me. Or potentially could mean a lot to me, at the very least. Little Chad we're gonna leave behind. Interesting Eve run so far. Um... I would, I would call it mixed, but erring on, like, the side of, uh, positivity. <clears throat> I don't necessarily think that we've gotten carried. I mean, certainly that deal with the devil room should, uh, you know, poke some holes in that theory. But, uh, it's, it's gone okay so far. And our Ace of Spades seems to have panned out for us here and given us, uh, a bicycle or a playing card. Which should allow us to make something happen. That's bad damage. I almost want to use my strength card here. We're very lucky that we have enough spirit hearts to back ourselves up. Hopefully we, we didn't set the precedent for deal, deals with the angel. As much as I love deals with the angel for defensive items, I much prefer deals with the devil because, I mean, hell, mom's knife brimstone, right? The, that's my bread and butter. The stereotype exists for a reason, or the, the, the joke exists for a reason. I really, really like those items. I think they give you the greatest chance of success possible, except for sacred heart, which, you know, shows up in once every 30 uh, deal with the angel rooms anyway. Two of hearts sucks pretty hard, but if we find an arcade on this floor, which is super unlikely, because we came into it with only three cents, um, then there might be some value there. <clears throat> As is, though, I think we're pretty much just gonna um, leave that behind. Two of hearts card might be valuable in the future, uh, might even be more valuable than this... That was awful damage. Might even be more valuable than the strength card, but it's gonna have to prove that to me. Dead bird, uh, that's the one advantage of dead bird. I think that's a bombs are key pill? Am I correct in that assumption? No. Okay. It's bad gas. Well, I regret using a bomb, but truth be told, a bomb to figure out, you know, another pill that's in your rotation is not so bad. Nun's Habit. That's what we want. Nun's Habit Book of Revelations will be huge for us. We can buy another key, but let's try to get Nun's Habit first. What about this one? Teleported us. Thank God that wasn't an IM error room. I would be very disappointed. I do want to go to that curse room right away. Uh, I mean... There is some value in waiting, because it's possible that we could actually gain the ability to fly and then take one half spirit heart less of damage, but I don't really play by those rules to some extent. I like to just, uh, you know, play somewhat fast and loose. Kind of a terrible uh, payout there. Well, I mean, it doesn't get any worse, right? Unless you got two troll bombs. I don't know if that's actually the worst, the worst payout. It's also possible that uh, spiders are actually harder to avoid. I am taking some seriously awful, awful damage here. We're very lucky that we have these uh, spirit hearts to back me up or I'd be fucked right now. But as is, we still have a pretty good chance of snagging some useful stuff. Just give me some money. Like, that's all I want here at this point. So at least when I take damage, uh, I'm, I'm stacking up uh, spirit hearts. I mean, Nun's Habit uh, Book of Revelations pretty much means that you have, like, no way to take damage. Uh, and, and not gain proportional amounts of HP back for the first few floors. Now, my damage has not really improved since we went through this song and dance last time. Uh, so, oh, they, they split up, which is great. Otherwise, we would have ended up in that, possibly in that permanent limbo that we had earlier. So there's our Book of Revelations. Should guarantee us pestilence on this floor. I've been wrong about that before. Okay. Well, we're learning a lot about our pill rotation. Some uncomfortable truths, unfortunately, that it kind of sucks. Now, just be... Safe and calm here. Keep moving. And you should be okay. I don't know why I'm talking to myself in the third person. Just keep it up, and this item room may contain all of the glory and the truth that I've ever wanted in this run. Now, we did lose some HP from that pill. Um, it's nice to know that there's an HP downgrade in the rotation. I wish we didn't have to know it like that. It's nice to know because if we take nine lives, then that's basically, um, you know, an HP upgrade that we can also get. But it's a pretty niche circumstance, unfortunately. So uh, I don't really want to fight our boss yet. I really want to get this nun's habit up and running as soon as possible. That's not going to be our secret room. So my guess is that our secret room is probably back here. Maybe could have kicked that bomb into it, but it's unlikely. Oh, there it is, as expected. And one more scent will actually give us this nun's habit. So we'll do a little bit of exploration first. The earlier we get nun's habit, the earlier we stop the bleeding with respect to our spirit hearts. And hopefully we snag uh, HP and then a deal with the devil right after. 
Or a deal with the angel. Uh, I wouldn't mind the relic or the miter or anything along those lines right now. Free ability to fly. Ability to fly with some HP associated with it in Holy Grail or something like that. But we'll see. You know, we don't have control over that. We've got to be close to the end of this floor, though. Yeah, this is a dead end. I would really like to destroy that fire that's over there because I worry that um, these guys are going to end up immolating themselves. And that always creates a little bit more of a problematic situation. There's one immolated hopper. Come on. Well, I can destroy the fire. Then it won't shoot me and I have a little bit more space to actually dodge anyway. You're dead. Okay. We could also really use tears upgrades and really use damage upgrades. I mean, we're, we're missing kind of some important stats right now. HP, tears, damage. I mean, those are the big ones. Well, we're going to definitely use our strength card on this floor because the Emperor is uh, way better. But I still like our run here because, uh, in a way, like our intangibles are pretty solid. Come on, dead bird. Dead bird, dead bird. Oh, my Lanta. Uh, the dodges, man, they're not easy. Thank you. We're going to lose like all of our spirit hearts on the caves part two. That doesn't feel great. Nothing there. Please give me one more penny on this floor. Like, that's all I need. You're probably not going to do it, but uh, you could give me an HP upgrade, which make me feel a little bit better about that whole situation. Ah, that was pretty good. So we got one more bomb. Where do I get this penny from, though? Where could a second secret room... There's so many locations for a second secret room to be. Oh, well, we found it. Uh, and if I blow this up, I think we stand a pretty good chance to get a sense. Good, 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 good. Okay, that was a, a bit of a frightening situation there for a moment. As is clearly happening outside as well, but, um... That's, that's gonna give us enough for the nun's habit, which is extremely important, especially since we'll definitely save enough... Never mind. I was gonna say we'll definitely save enough money to be able to, uh... Uh, get an arcade on the next floor, but that's... A, we're gonna have zero cents, and B... Uh, it doesn't really matter because the next floor is going to be... Oh, if it's an XL floor, then disregard. But if it's a part one, then it doesn't matter because we can't gain uh, an arcade on that floor anyway, just by virtue of having money. Gertie J. Well, no, just regular Gertie. Gertie J is Gertie Jr. This is the Gertie that does not spawn enemies. Or, sorry, does not shoot bullets, which is... A.K.A. the, the better Gertie, for the most part. Uh, but we've got to be able to take out these nubs effectively. Also, apparently Book of Revelations doesn't need shit. I've been using it a lot more often lately, not because uh, I like it more than I used to like it. In fact, Book of Revelations used to be one of my go-to items, um, until it kind of fell out of favor in, in favor of more, I guess, offensively focused items, or just holding on to the D6. But the reason I've been using it so much lately is just because, it, situationally, that's how things have uh, kind of worked out. Now, deal with the devil here, or deal with the angel. Work with me, Gertie. Work with me, Gertie. We didn't take any damage, we did use a lot of bombs. Not always the greatest situation. And... Just keep it up here. This is fine. You can do some semi-circular dodges here. I really want to take out these nubs. The nubs are the most unpredictable. The flies are not that big of a deal. Oh, I did not take damage there. Very lucky. No deal with the angel. Okay. We'll get our bomb. And then... We need the emperor card. So, I'll take the Emperor card from back here, and then we'll go down to the next floor. And that should be excellent. Excellent, maybe, is a strong word. But uh, our health is okay. Easy to leverage and to deal with the devil. The main strength of this run right now is definitely Nun's Habit Book of Revelations. On In a way, maybe it's good that we didn't end up fighting Pestilence on this floor, because it means that if we fight war and uh, death... We'll only get a second level cube of meat, which will give us a little bit of defense in the orbital format, as opposed to uh, sacrificing that for a third level meat boy, which can be a little dubious with respect to its targeting damage, and maybe the defense plus... Oh, it's an XL floor. Still, that could work out for us uh, in that fashion. Mostly just... Uh, maybe I'm not disappointed. Uh, you know what? I am disappointed. I went through a range of emotions very quickly there. Why am I disappointed that, that it's an XL floor? Uh, less shops means that if we really should... Oh my god, are you kidding me? Less shops means that, um, you know, if we fight greed, that's pretty much it. We, uh, we won't get any other shops, and we didn't really get a great haul from shops here. Nuns have it, Book of Revelations is lovely, uh, but, but we could use more, right? No compass, no map, etc., etc. Let's see what we got going. Oh, I did not expect that shot to come in here. I'm playing a little bit sloppily, too, I have to admit. But that's okay, we might, um... Again, we haven't been carried so far, but we're in a position where I can...
pull this out uh, just through relatively half decent play. So let's let's try to make that happen. Okay, can't get that key. Definitely want to get the money because it's a dime. That's easy. I I really feel like. I know we have Nun's Habit, Book of Revelations, but if I could pick up Blue Candle, I would really, really welcome it. Apart from that, what am I looking for? I need, an, I need a damage out. Which is my, you know, poker terminology way of saying I really, really could use um, a Sad Onion, Skinny Odd Mushroom, you know, Number One even. Just anything along those lines that allows me to stack up my tiers a little bit faster. My tier damage is not... Incredible, but my rate of fire is is the main inhibitor right now from my standpoint that I can see if we can just get a little bit of a, a Faster rate of fire then that would be great or a slower rate of fire or the same rate of fire just with much higher damage You know polyphemus quad shot obviously mom's knife obviously brimstone uh, Ideal items that accomplish both tasks would also be excellent. You know things like uh, packed mark etc etc very risky dodge, but, um, you know, that's pretty much why I did it right there. Speed up the room a little bit. And we're not looking too uh, likely to end up with a deal with the devil on this floor. Or a deal with the angel, for that matter. Which is disappointing, because those are the things that could give us the easiest shortcut to success here. But, you know, we got to do what we can do here. We don't really have too much control over our uh, situation. Now, every single room that we're fighting is uh, these dick bags, unfortunately. And I really don't want to end up using a bomb per room, but this is Necropolis, man. I gotta, I gotta protect ourselves. Especially, like, I don't, I don't mind taking forever to fight enemies when those enemies only deal a half heart of damage, because we can effectively afford to do that ad nauseum as a result of the fact that, uh, you know, we have this Nun's Habit Book of Revelations combo. But when enemies deal a full heart, I gotta take them out as soon as possible, otherwise we risk... Starting to uh, hemorrhage spirit hearts, not be in a great position. So telepills is good because it allows me to uh, possibly actually snag a deal with the devil and or angel. Again, uh, don't mind taking as much time as is necessary on a room like this. And if we're going to get hit, we might as well get hit more so that we can use Book of Revelations um, evenly, if that makes sense. Just be careful. Okay, well, hit me again. And that might have been a full heart and I might be an idiot. But it might have been a half heart, and I might be a genius. You just never know with these things. Um, so we have steam sales, so this shop is pretty important. Potentially. Oh, yep, yeah, there's the damage that I was afraid of. In my defense, can we not have this room for the 5,000th freaking time? I'm so sick of it. And this is where things start to, you know, start to get abrasive. They start to rub up against you a little bit, cause some chafing. Uh... I really, really dislike fighting the same enemy a hundred times when I have uh, very little offensive output. Oh my god. I would totally, totally sacrifice Book of Revelations for nuns, er, for um, Blue Candle. And it would work. I think it would work better. Honestly. Alright, but we're, we're going to be fighting Greed, so what is it? Disregard. It's almost worse to, to be getting the Notched Axe instead. I would rather fight Greed because he might have a chance to pay out with the shop item because we've already purchased the Steam Sale. So, uh, I would say shops did not turn out as amazingly for me on this floor as I might have liked. I think we're, we're playing... Like, the, the clock's ticking on this run. And that's okay. Hey, look, we got a different room. Kappa face. It is different. Ever so slightly. We have, uh, enemies that maybe are a little bit more difficult to kill. Or at least to avoid their shots. Come on. There's less of them, though. So I would take this room over the other one any day of the week. Hey, a half heart. Maybe, just maybe, we'll come across an arcade. Although, certainly, we can be fairly confident that we won't. Because we came down to this floor with zero cents, if I remember correctly. We got a dime, like, immediately. Maybe even 11 cents immediately. And then we traded three cents for a spirit heart, which by now might actually be lost. Now, if we could just pick up the wafer in one of these two item rooms, I mean, that's the thing. We have a lot of still avenues for getting out of this situation, but um, if we uh, if we pick up a wafer, then our life is is brilliant. Our love is fucking pure, right? It would uh, it would save us a lot of problems. We would actually be literally invincible, I think, as long as I use the the reroll mathematically properly. I think it's worth fighting the first boss here. So I guess we're not going to get any cubes of meat despite having Book of Revelations, which is surprising. 
was hoping that uh, Poison Mr. Mega would do maybe a little bit more damage than that, but it's hard to complain. It did about 85% of the Wicked's damage, or the Wicked's HP here. And there we go. All right, not a difficult fight at all. But I am I'm using more bombs than I would like to. Normally, I don't like to resort to using bombs in combat until we get to, like, the mom's heart level. But they're by far my best, uh, my best asset right now. So I could... I could fight Mom and then Telepills out, and there's value in doing that, but at the same time, with the dope rhymes that I kick, you know and I know, I float some old funky shits. Anyway, that's... That's nothing but a G thing. I, I thought, I was like, is that gin and juice? No, that's nothing but a G thing. Anyway, um... I think I'm not going to do that, in case you didn't notice by the fact that I'm not in that mom fight room right now, and the reason I'm not going to do it is because I want to get carried by these item rooms. I want to give them a chance to carry me at the very least. Ooh, careful. If I can get something useful, I'll probably take less damage against mom as a result, and that'll allow me to stack up more spirit arts, thereby giving me a minute greater chance percentage of winning, thereby giving me a little bit of hope in uh, the idea that there could be some kind of benevolent force in the universe for good. Now, it's going to be a big floor. Get ready. Um, we will likely be, uh, encountering some difficult rooms. Maybe we can find an arcade. I mean, I know, I know the logical reasons why we shouldn't encounter an arcade, or probably won't encounter an arcade, but I want to, I want to believe, man. I don't know if I should get hit once more. I never know if the uh, Book of Revelations nuns have a combo. I know that we should never get hit, or we should try our damnedest, not that we don't already, to not get hit by enemies that deal one full heart of damage. AKA, those green bombs that just hit me. That was me illustrating what not to do, and you can run the arithmetic on that yourself to experience why that was uh, the wrong decision for me to make there. And it was a decision, totally not an accident at all. Careful, careful. Good. Okay. Our item rooms have got to be over here. Like, again, it's a big floor, but we've already done so much of it. I am so fucking over these guys. I am I am ready for you to be extinct. I would not support the World Wildlife Foundation if they were trying to preserve your existence. I'm sorry, that's vindictive. I'm, I apologize to the World Wildlife Federation. And uh, I apologize to all animals and insects the world over that don't get the love they deserve because they're annoying. It's not their fault they're annoying, it's an evolution thing, right? You think if mosquitoes had a choice they would want to bite humans? I don't think, I'm not saying you shouldn't kill mosquitoes, you know, you don't want to get West Nile virus or malaria or something like that. All I'm saying is, I, I feel bad for the mosquito on occasion. Hey, here's the deal, mosquitoes, nobody's gonna like you. Uh, you're gonna have like a three week lifespan and your main prey is going to be the smartest and maybe not strongest, but like the the shrewdest animal ever created or ever, you know, existing on the planet. So have fun. By the way, they could literally kill you with their bare hands. They could kill like a hundred of you in a day. And they have chemicals that can extinguish your entire population. That's not an enviable position for mosquitoes to be in, is it? That's why I'm saying I feel for them. It's like being a, you know, a, a National Hockey League goalie and you're going up against the Chicago Blackhawks or something like that in your first game and, you, you know, it's it's an unenviable task. Inenviable? I can, I can never remember. This is the only time I ever use that word anyway. So I'm trying to distract myself from my inevitable uh, demise here, as we all are. Isn't that a metaphor for entertainment in general? Ooh, okay. I am amazed that I did not get hit there. Don't really want to open that chest. Do want to play the shit out of judgment, and I'll sacrifice a bomb for it. Thought maybe we'd find the secret room there. Shit happens, though. Work with me, judgment. Compass. You can sometimes pay out with the compass. HP is great as well. We're still cool. Finally. I knew it had to happen at some point, and inside we find kamikaze. So there is the kamikaze glitch people always tell me about. If you're, like, pushing into a door or a wall, then you don't take damage from kamikaze. So be it. I don't really do that. I don't really, I don't, I don't play that game. I'm an honorable Isaac player. Ooh, mom's knife, yeah. 10 times in a row, I'll take that. No problems. Uh, we'll come down here, it's, I am, I'm done. You know what? You did it, game. You broke me. You broke my will, congratulations. I hope that, uh, hope that it was worth it. I thought we had a good little mutual arrangement going, but instead, 
you've decided to uh, forsake me to try to build up your own reputation. And I don't like it. Moon card is secret room. We will use it. No, oh, this is a mob trap room, which we can go to and probably should. We could go in there and just moon card out. I t had a terrible realization, as I said, moon card that, that is there going to be a moon Kardashian baby at some point? I don't really, you know, I don't, I don't hate the Kardashians because I don't find myself subjected to reality TV on a regular basis, so I don't have to worry about the fact that they're out, you know, everywhere. Uh, but moon Kardashian sounds like a terrible name for anything but like a menu item at a new age Indian restaurant. Uh, yeah, that's HP. That's pretty good. So I'm going to moon card out, actually. I don't want to fight these guys. And that took us to the secret room where we're going to fight Greed. Which is probably not worth fighting. But never tell me the odds. We, we may end up taking damage here, but you know, we're in a situation where the more damage we take, the, the better it is, sort of. Well, not the better it is, but, you know, the not it's not bad to take damage necessarily, as long as we pay attention to it. We're, we'll lose some money in the process, but I was hoping maybe we'd snag an item or something here. We did get a key, at least. So we still have one item room available, unfortunately. And it's shaping up to be one of those long runs. That means I have, you know, four minutes to come up with a docket for the Northern Lion Live Super Show, unfortunately. Should stop recording these videos, like, you know, 63 minutes before the stream starts. Oh, come on, green bombs, work with me here. You're supposed to land, a, yeah, a little closer to the center, thank you. Chariot, good enough, we'll use it as soon as we can. And this seems like the most prudent use of it by far. There we go, what's this pill? Bad gas, that's terrible. Like, not even ironically, you know, because it says bad in the title, it's just actually, like, really bad. The poison damage doesn't even do close to enough to actually knock these nubs out of the situation. You know, for all the negative things that have happened to us on this run, and this floor specifically, um, I'm pretty stoked that we've at least gotten a lot of HP here. It came through some weird sources, you know, judgment and uh, a mob trap room. Not the most likely situation to find that happen. Now, these champion, uh, you know, ball sack flies actually do one full heart of damage, which is unfortunate, let's say. Oh, careful. Now that they're dead, I'm not so concerned. We have one bomb, and as much as I'd love to use that bomb to, you know, make quick work of this fight, we can't. I don't know why this guy's moving so slowly. Like, for a second, I thought we had fly love, but maybe that's just his normal speed, and I'm an asshole for bringing it up. I don't know. It's possible. Please, you are now close to deceased at least. There we go. And our item room, please be good. I've, I've tried so hard on this run to make it work. PhD is pretty solid, except for the fact that I don't even know if there's any bad pills in our rotation. Like, I think we mostly have good pills in our rotation. And not, not pills that I want, but pills that are like, they, they err on the side of good, unfortunately. Telepills is a good pill. Um, Bad gas is a quote-unquote good pill. Bombs are key is a quote-unquote good pill. So that sucks a little bit, but um, I'm happy to have PhD. At least our health downgrade pills will be turned into health upgrade pills, maybe, or they'll turn into something good. And, uh, of course, the other benefit is that if I find a pill with an unknown function, I don't have to worry about it. So we'll just go uh, left and left, then about 100 downs, and then about 100 rights. We'll telepills, do the whole thing over again after we fight Mom, and... Hopefully snag a deal with the devil, otherwise we're uh, we're on the clock here and I don't necessarily have high hopes for a victory to come about. It could happen, but I don't think it's necessarily likely. Now, just keep moving along here. And there we go. Okay. It's Red Mom. Red Mom is uh, easy mom, usually. Blue mom is hard mom, regular mom is just about average mom. I really would love dead bird if instead of God getting, uh, you know, smacked around by mom's foot here, it's, uh, actually was able to stay on target and actually do some damage, but I guess you can't always get what you want. As long as I only take damage from bullets, we can't lose on this fight. If I get hit by arms and stuff like that, we'll, we'll lose HP over time, but... Uh, it's gonna be a long fight. I, l I would like to point out that I bought Book of Revelations on like fucking Caves Part 2. We still have zero cubes of meat, and this is one of the rare situations where having a cube of meat is actually super useful from an offensive standpoint. Uh, normally, if I had a cube of meat on Red Mom, I would be uh, positioning myself like really aggressively 
so that cube of meat could do some damage with its rotation. Unfortunately, we have no orbitals, which makes no fucking sense. Um, instead, we ended up fighting little Chad, or we ended up fighting Gertie, the regular Chad, and getting to Chad, I guess. Anyway, it's going to be a long fight, but uh, it's much easier to just deal with the foot and dodge bullets as, than it is to deal with crowd control in a situation like this. Again, deal with the devil and or angel, super, super important here. Uh, and apart from that, pentagram, I'm trying to think of what else would be very, very useful. Pentagram would be huge. Uh, a, a tears upgrade, like coat hanger. I don't need HP as much as I need damage anymore, in my opinion. But we got stem cells. I know that it's like the worst of the HP upgrades. That's okay, though. Gotta do what you gotta do. So, this is our telepills, and if this doesn't work out with the deal with the angel, well, all is not lost, necessarily, but we're in a, a bit of a problematic situation. We're going to, uh, we're going to be going down to the womb, or utero, neither of which really bothers me. If it's an XL floor, our, our luck is kind of run out, though. And if it's not an XL floor, we really need to get either a deal with the angel or devil. Or things are going to be tough. And there's no deal with the devil or angel here. Thank God it's not an XL floor. So, I mean, we could spend a lot of time talking about the things that we don't have on this run. If you want to get super negative. We don't have a map. We don't have a compass. We don't have very good damage. We do have a lot of HP. We have Nun's Habit and uh, Book of Revelations. Which means that our... Uh, we, we essentially have a kind of jerry-rigged version of... Uh, the, uh, the wafer going on here and we have a little bit of time we have a slight amount of time to make this work for ourselves we've got some keys we can open golden chests and uh, we've got spirit hearts backing our HP up so a deal with the devil could theoretically happen but we desperately desperately above all else need extra damage and it, it can't be small at this point it can't be we have good bombs too like we don't have a lot of bombs but the bombs that we do have are extremely potent if we can get more of those that would be awesome uh, yeah, we have, um, we, we pretty much have to get a high, uh, intensity upgrade on this floor. Because we, not, not because things get super hard after this floor, although they sort of do, um, but because if we don't get it on this floor, there's no other opportunity for us to get it, in all likelihood. Thank you, that's a very lucky random spirit art drop. The speed upgrade is not worth fighting for at this point. Our speed is not the issue. That's not why we're taking damage. We're not going to take red heart damage on this floor. So really the best thing that we can do... Oh, thank God. Ooh, the best thing that we can do to um, to give ourselves the best chance of getting a deal with the, the devil or angel... We don't have control over which one we get at this point. Uh, is not take damage against the boss. So, you know, the less damage you take on the floor, the better for some obvious reasons. Oh, thank God. But um, in general... Taking damage against the boss is really going to help out. I knew we were going to take damage. It's like the... the Cracks in the facade were starting to show there after a while. Look how long it took us to, to kill even what is honestly a relatively simple room like this. Moon card, I uh, I never really know how to use the moon and other teleportation cards once we get down to the areas where teleportation is not really that effective. I guess we'll use it right here because I don't want to fight this room. Let me get a one-up. So we know which way the boss room has to be now. At least we know the, the first direction. And this is, again, a situation where it's uh, lovely to have orbitals. Sadly, we have zero. If nothing else, we should at least snag a cube of meat on this floor. And we gotta just get both of these guys to pop up. There we go. And this is still a relatively easy room. I would rather have this room 20 times than any other rooms we could deal with. Uh, but it's, it's not as easy as it could be. Totally, totally, especially if I don't take damage um, on this room. Going to go to that curse room extremely important uh, for us to give ourselves the maximum chance of getting good damage items and you know good damage items can show up in curse rooms it's a rarity it is a rarity but it can happen terrible damage starting to see our spirit hearts uh, dwindle past the edge of the screen now just be careful here where are you at there we go oh yeah, okay dead bird dead bird Work with me here. Nothing. All right. Well, we got to try. Lovely. That was a good room. Uh, there's our Book of Revelations charged up. This is a dead end, so we know exactly which way the boss room has to be again. 
So we should be fighting death. I swear to God, if we fight conquest, it will sap all of the will from my body. I will still try as hard as I possibly can, because why not? It's not like I can lose any faster by not trying, for the most part. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm not feeling too excited about the way that this is going right now. Two bombs is not really a whole lot to, uh, to take care of anything with. Except for these basic rooms, but we don't need to use them on these basic rooms. Really, really unfortunate that we just didn't snag much in the way of upgrades uh, offensively on this run. Picking up Guppy's paw might have helped out a little bit, but... Or, sorry, Guppy's uh, tail might have helped out a little bit. We do end up having an excess of keys very, very slightly right now, so... I kind of wish I picked up Guppy's, Guppy's tail. Maybe it would have guaranteed us some more deals with the devil in the future, but... What's done is done. I made a decision um, based on the position we were in, not the position we could have been in. And I might be uh, suffering a little bit, but usually mistakes like that don't end up completely destroying your run. Not that this run is completely destroyed yet. We're just, you know, impotent offensively and defensively, you know, adequate. Adequate for an average win, but uh, we don't have an average amount of damage right now, unfortunately. Lack of rerolls comes back to bite you in the ass a little bit again. Okay, I, I still expect that it's going to be a long trip to get to the boss, honestly. It might seem like we spent a lot of time on this floor, and relative to some other runs we have, but... Um, it's... I still think there's a long way to go. It's just that each room is taking us 30 seconds at this point, which makes everything, uh... a little bit more methodical and slow than it would otherwise normally be. Scared as hell of this room. That, uh, vaginal bomb fly is the worst. And we're holding up all right with respect to our HP, as you might expect given the defensive items that we have, but uh, it won't last. It can't last as much as I would like it to. Thank you, dead bird. The other one. There's one more. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> uh, okay, great. So an enemy that is, you know, predominantly killed through bomb usage. And I missed with the bomb. Good. Well, I w I'm desperate, so I will. Are you telling me that... Chub doesn't get poisoned when you use a bomb, a poison bomb on it. That seems ridiculous to me. I have faith in you, dead bird. It's never good when you're relying on dead bird to be a big damage dealer, you know, 40 or 50 minutes into a run on the womb part one. Shit, man, it's never a good, it's never a good thing when you're 40 or 50 minutes into a run, uh, and you're only on the womb part one. There's a lot of badness happening right now. Badness Everdeen! The run on fire! I tried, but seriously. I uh, gotta do something to entertain myself on a run like this where, um... I, like, it, it's not, it's, I'm so desperate for damage that I would kill for a, a single cube of meat. I would. I'm gonna have to kill for a single cube of meat if we end up fighting death, of course. Um, but, uh... Just being able to stand adjacent to enemies and take them out slightly faster as a result of uh, a single cube of meat orbiting me would actually be like a breath of fresh fucking air. It would be like stepping off the airplane your first day on vacation. Now, I'm just gonna hang back as much as we possibly can. Please tell me that we're fighting death. It's death. Okay, so death is gonna be a slow fucking fight here. Lots of HP. We don't have poison touch or anything like that. And we don't have any orbitals, otherwise I would... Maybe it's a good thing we don't have orbitals, because I would be standing right next to death right now, trying to get him to actually um, take damage from them, which would probably put me more in harm's way. We already used all our bombs to fight Chubb. This should give us a cube of meat, and if we don't take damage on this room, just something I talked about 45 minutes ago when we first started this floor, if I don't take damage on this room, we should have a pretty good chance of getting a, a special wager room at the end to deal with the devil, to deal with the angel, something similar. Okay, well, we still have a pretty good chance, because we're not going to take red heart damage on this room. We actually could take red heart damage on this room, it's just, it's not likely, let's put it that way. So we're gonna have a lot of zombies to deal with, um, typically I, I prefer to take out the death himself before taking out the horseman, because the horse is actually pretty beneficial when it comes to taking out the zombies. Sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't help out at all. Like this time. Oh, yeah, there's more damage, feeling great about that. Seriously? There we go, it took out one. It's a start. Oh, okay. Don't lose red heart damage. If you lose red heart damage, it's this run is over. You're just, you know, taking your last breaths without even realizing it. If only the horse could actually do damage to death itself. 
Now we'll move out of the way. Thank you. And this is uh, this pattern's working out fairly nicely for me so far. So we just shoot death. When the horse comes, we go in the opposite direction. Shoot death. Oh, we killed the horse. I did not expect that. Seems like the less damage we do, the more likely we are to kill the horse first. The more damage we do, the less likely... Uh, like, oftentimes when we have, like, mom's knife, the horse is impossible to kill. Seemingly. Deal with the devil. Deal with the devil. Oh, the moment of truth is quickly dawning. Oh, we gotta deal with the devil. Okay, not Krampus. Not Krampus. All is forgiven. Let's do this shit. We can still make this happen. It's not a one run yet. And then the audience cheers. Like, you know, Niles Crane just walked in. Uh, I have PhD, so I have to get this, even though I don't remember what it is. So I used it, and it saved me a slight amount of HP. Anyway, Mom's Knife. Uh, we have base damage, Mom's Knife. Nothing to write home about relative to, you know, a lot of runs we've had over the course of our existence. Uh, but pretty amazing relative to the position we were in earlier. And of course, now I'm forsaking that by immediately taking a fuck ton of damage. But just the ability to actually kill these enemies not taking a hundred years feels pretty fucking great. So, let's go far right. Um, yeah, I'll open this, because I have to at this point. That extra bomb is actually probably worth the two keys. And we're gonna open up, or we're gonna use our bombs like crazy on Mom's heart. We can't not, basically. Uh, careful. Come on. Uh, we can probably beat Mom's heart just with uh, the knife. But I don't really want to. I would much rather finish the fight as quickly as possible. We're not gonna snag any items from it, but... I'd like it to be done quickly. And now we actually have probably about a 1 in 4 chance, I'd say. Normally, you have a much better chance of winning with Mom's Knife, but, you know, we, we got it so late that we hemorrhaged a ton of Spirit Hearts. There is a, a chance that we can build this back. If we get to the chest, our odds improve a lot. Because we... Ooh, that was so bad of me. Um, and we do have a 1-up. That's that's not anything, you know, to take lightly, but... We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to be pretty lucky, and we're gonna have to play very well as well, I'd say. So this is an important one. This fight is actually uh, crazy huge. Because the tarot card that Sloth gives me could be a game winner. It could be enough to tip the balance in my favor. Of course, it could be enough to do fuck all as well. Good. So okay, it was. So this full, it's basically full health. Extremely important. If it allows us to then save our one up until after the um, Isaac fight, then it's, it's done its part. So we only are going to get three bombs here. That's not a lot. But it is enough to do an awful lot of damage. Where are you going? Okay. Pop another one down here. Uh, I don't know why that one didn't do any damage at the end, but what's done is done. Can't really do too much about that now, can we? We're gonna get into permanent bomb state, like, right after this. Oh, man. Like, all is not forgiven for the huge period of, like, boredom that we had on this run. Boredom, maybe not the right word, but struggle that we had on this run. Uh, that being said, I'm stoked that we at least picked up an item that makes this worthwhile. Careful, careful, there we go. Alright, Book of Revelations gets popped. This is a run where, you know, maybe going down a shoal would be fun, but I think we can actually push for the, the, the gold here, right? So I gotta give it a try. That's the thing with Shoal, is that... And people ask sometimes, they're like, Oh, I wish Northern Lion would go down to Shoal. And I'm not making fun of the people that ask that, or saying like, Oh, what a dumb question. But, you have to understand that from my perspective, I get a, a ton of, um... A ton of hate every time I go down to Shoal, and then I get a ton of hate when I don't go down to Shoal. If I don't go down to Shoal, people are like, Well, you, you should show some variety, because the Satan boss fight is better, and yada yada. You're not wrong. Um, but if I do go down to Shoal, people are like, oh, you took the easy way out, like, you could have had, uh, you could have beaten Isaac, but instead you just wanted to make sure that you had a one run and blah blah blah. So, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't to a certain extent. I always feel like it's a bit of a, not, not even a catch-22, but it's the kind of the situation where, you know, if you're, uh, if you're able to easily beat Shoal, or like you're confident beating Shoal, that at least means you have a chance on the cathedral, for the most part. And if you have a chance on the cathedral, then you make it to the chest and you get some items that can potentially carry you, so... Um, it, it... It's like, you know, why not, why not try, is my thought on the matter. Why not go for gold every time? 
I kind of pretend that uh, Shul doesn't exist to some extent. I wish the Satan boss fight was maybe like made a little bit more difficult, and that was your um, that took the place of like the blue baby fight or the Isaac fight. I don't really know, like from a story perspective, because I don't totally uh, understand the Isaac story. Um, I don't really understand which one would, uh, you know, break cannon or something like that. You know what I mean. Okay, so I'm taking an awful lot of damage. We'll have to figure out how we want to use the sun card here. This damage is not unavoidable. Part of it's bad play. Yeah, that was not good, for example. But we have a uh, 1-up and sun. So, this is uh, something that I can use to prolong my survival. Let's put it that way. Alright. Was obviously kind of hopeful that we would be getting to the exit here. Thank God I didn't get hit again. I don't know if my heart could have taken it. We are stacking up bombs. So we'll probably try to save these for the blue baby fight if possible. In the meantime, let's just move along. What do we have up here? A uh, couple Lokis. Now, Loki has... That was a terrible dodge on my part. I didn't take damage, but I should have, probably. Loki is uh, hes a real asshole sometimes. And, you know, this is a good room to illustrate that even though we have Mom's Knife, our damage is not necessarily incredible. <laughs> not as incredible as I'd like it to be, at least. It's incredibly low, actually, for a, your average mom's knife run, but it does, it, gives us, it gave us a lifeline, which is really all, I, all you can ask for. I don't know why I dodge that same way on Gish every time. Now, how am I not going to take damage here? Well, I can just wait for Dead Bird to finish the job, or I could get lucky in a situation like that. Yeah, okay, that works fine. Greed Head's actually not so bad now. I'm barely one-shotting those neutral flies that pop out from greed, which is, uh, disconcerting. Not even one-shotting those greed heads either, which is disconcerting. Please tell me we're gonna find our way to the boss fight soon. Okay, well, it's right there. That's about as soon as you can get. That's my ideal room right there. We're already at a half-heart interval. Be cool. So I think we use our sun card instead of trying to use the one up here. Save the one up for the next floor. We will probably end up having to use the sun card. I will also... Um, that was bad. Didn't work. Uh, I will also use my bombs on this fight. My bombs are more valuable than mom's knife, which is problematic. And remember, I have um, the wafer, basically, in the form of Nun's Habit and Book of Revelations, so... I can take twice... I basically, effectively, have twice as much health as you can see right now. Uh, it's, it's not a, a ton. It helps, though. Uh, and I'm just gonna tank the shit out of him here. I actually think this might be the quote-unquote best, or like objectively best way to have this work. I totally forgot that I have Horde Babylon as well. And we're gonna get out of this without having to use the Sun card, which gives me a much, much greater chance of success as now I have um, Sun card and uh, well, no Horde Babylon anymore, but Sun card and one up for the next floor. So, carry items, black bean, holy water, game kid, d20. So, since we can't reroll these, and I don't have any familiars, this is how we're gonna be doing this, I suppose. Uh, I guess we'll use the game kid to try to gain some HP back. I don't really like it very much at all, but it did take us to a half hard interval, which is what I was concerned about. Oh, and there we go. It took some damage at the end anyway. Which sucks because I was hoping to uh, be able to uh, get Book of Revelations back before I took damage so the Nuns have it actually, you know, benefited us. That's okay. So D20, I mean, we can maybe find one good use for it. Reroll these two right here. Yeah, beautiful. Well, it's looking increasingly likely that we're going to come out of this run. As long as we can carry the Sun card into the boss fight, there's a very low chance... Ah, that was a terrible dodge. But it, carrying the sun card into the boss fight means there's a very low chance that we end up uh, in a terrible situation. Uh, the good news as well is that, weirdly enough, considering we don't have the virus or anything like that, Black Bean is actually kind of a good item for us in this situation. Uh, it's, it's not a carry item, but it does mean that if I get hit close to the boss, that I will deal poison damage. That was not great, obviously. Um, which also means that, uh, oh, break him, thank you. 
uh, also means that uh, maybe it incentivizes trying that tanking strategy from earlier. But if I get bombs, I'll use those instead, please. There we go. Keys, lovely. All right, Daddy Long Legs, Duty Ling Legs. Purple me, almost dead. I'll accept that. Good, very good. Key is worthless, but everything else worked out pretty solidly there. Man, I am so thankful that I didn't have to go through this part of the game with that same amount of base damage that I had earlier. I mean, it's a moot point because I wouldn't have made it through that part of the game with, like, I would, I probably would have struggled against Mom's heart. Almost certainly would not have beaten Isaac with the amount of HP that we had. Oh, that was good. We don't have scapular, right? Like, I, I can't just live like this forever. Is that new permanent Polaroid invincibility? It is. And if we die, shit happens, right? I don't really care. Because I, I just want to be able to make it into this boss fight with the sun card, and I don't really care about my one-up. But the sun card is the most valuable thing there by far. How this uh, super rat is not dead is beyond me. Well, I don't know what happened to that bomb, but shit happens sometimes, I guess. How are you not dead? I'm actually amazed right now. Come on. Come on. Oh, snap. Okay. Spirit hearts. Spirit hearts. No. Okay, bombs are useful. Bombs are good. This is pretty much my ideal room, he says, you know, four seconds before taking damage. Now, I like that room. It's a good one. It's the same room we just took a bunch of damage on because I'm an idiot. Let's try not to take so much damage in the future. If I can just survive one more hit, we get, you know, enough to get a spirit heart back. Okay, this is bad. Kill him. Kill him dead. Oh, man. Okay, that was... I just held the line there because I knew that love wasn't always on time and it ended up working out for me. So all we need to do is live through this room and then we get our uh, spirit heart back. Come on, dead bird. Work with me, baby. You're dead. Yeah, thank you. And we got pills. If this is full health, life is good, man. Speed up. Well, that's okay. And if we could just find our boss room... Like, that would be a huge morale boost to me, to at least know that we're going in the right direction. I mean, it's almost unfathomable at this point that we would be going in the wrong direction, just because we've come so far here, but... It has happened before. Just a little, little needle here. A little ooka ooka. There we go. Careful. And... Good. More bombs, more spirit arts. Those spirit arts are good because they allow me to generate another spirit art if I get hit twice. And stay in the Horror Babylon state. So what do I want? Do I want red hearts here? Or do I want uh, tarot cards? Uh, I kind of want the red hearts, actually. I, I think that's more beneficial for us. So we'll kill Gluttony, maybe even snag an HP upgrade. But consumable red hearts are probably more valuable, actually. Wow. Okay, so we'll use the sun card here, for sure. We got some time to kill first, though. Lots of it, actually. And we have seven bombs. Let's sneak around here. Place some of these bad boys down. Again, I, I think tanking is like a totally viable strategy in this situation. Because the black bean means that I get an incentive out of actually getting hit close to the boss. And with our sun card, I don't think that this goes wrong for us. I think it could, but I don't think it does. And so there's Horror of Babylon with permanent Polaroid invincibility. And then um, when we get hit, we just pop the sun card and we win. All right. We did not deserve to win as handily as we did, but as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.